I'm back again with the Stanley 4.5 bench plane. I've tuned it up and it's working pretty good, but I'm not quite happy with how the blade sharpens. I'm wondering if this replacement blade from Taylor Tools will solve those problems. As you've seen in my previous videos about this bench plane, I've already put a lot of work into it. It's working okay, but I'm finding that the blade is a little more difficult to resharpen than I had hoped. The issue is that the blade is not perfectly flat on the back. So it takes a little finesse to get a fine edge on the blade. And I'm just not confident that I can get this where I want it regardless of the amount of work. I was about ready to give up on this plane until I saw that uh, Taylor Tools was running a, a sale on this plane blade. It is made in India, but the quality seems to be quite good. We'll know for sure here in a few minutes when I open the package and begin to sharpen it. To test the plane blade for flatness, I take a few lapping strokes on my 1200 grit diamond stone. This will tell me how flat the blade is right out of the package. Well, it's not good news. These long shiny parts at the edge of the blade on the left and the right indicate that there is a very deep hollow in this blade. And even worse, the cutting edge of the blade isn't even touching the stone yet. So unfortunately, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. I switch over to my 250 grit water stone. This will help me remove metal as fast as possible. Okay, so I'm making some progress. The polished sections on the left and the right are getting larger. But I do have one serious concern here in the lower left corner. You can see that there's a machining defect, which is taking a pretty deep gouge out of the tip of that blade. So I'll be removing a lot of metal to get this blade in good condition. Throughout the lapping process, I'm only going to show you video clips that are a few seconds long each. This is a very long process and I won't bore you with all the footage. Here's another checkpoint. You can see the defect there in the lower left corner is getting smaller and the polished sections on the left and right are getting larger. But most of the cutting edge is still yet untouched. Long way to go yet. Well, I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. The defect in the lower left corner is getting smaller and smaller. It's almost gone. And I'm getting to the point where I'm almost touching the tip of the blade. Take note of the Sharpie marker blob in the middle of the blade. That little section is going to come back to haunt me a little later. And after some more lapping, I'm getting really close. I'm touching most of the edge of the blade. At this point, I think it's time to switch back to the diamond stones. So I've spent hours and hours on this plane blade already. I, I would guess about four hours. I went ahead and installed it in the plane because I had some concerns about the thickness not working with the geometry of the plane. Let me show you what I mean. This is the Stanley blade, and this is the new blade from Tay Tools. You can tell just by eye, the Tay Tools version is quite a bit thicker. The first concern I had was related to the cap iron. I was concerned that there wouldn't be enough clearance on this screw to accommodate the thicker blade. But as it turns out, there's plenty of room on these threads to accommodate this blade thickness. The next concern I had was in relation to the yoke. Because this is a thicker blade, the cap iron and the socket in which the yoke mates with is further away from the face of the frog. And I was worried that the yoke here would be a little too short. I think it is worth taking a closer look at the yoke fitment. As you can see, it's just catching the back side of the slot for that cap iron. I think if this blade was any thicker, it probably wouldn't work. We're on the very edge of functional here. There is one other thing I want to mention about the geometry of the thicker blade. Because the blade is thicker, its front leading edge is further forward. That means I had to move the frog back a little bit to get the same opening in the mouth. At this point, the plane blade is working well on the face of this scrap pine board. And it's also working well on the edge of this maple piece. 
The one issue I'm still having is with face planing hardwood. What's happening is that there's the slightest bit of hollow at the very tip of this blade. So I have to continue lapping the back. So I'll try to get you a shot of the little hollow at the tip of that blade I'm talking about. It's right in the center. I did apply Sharpie marker and lap the blade, but I think the hollow there is so slight that the swarth is actually wearing away the Sharpie marker. So it appears as if it's being sharpened, but it's not. The only cure for that hollow there at the tip of the blade is more lapping. I think I got the back of that plain blade perfectly sharp at this point. So I went ahead and rehoned the bevel and now I'm going to strop the blade. Okay, I'm starting to get some successful shavings here. Okay, even getting some good results on end grain. I think this blade is performing about as good as it can. So I think I'm where I want to be. There are some weird things going on, but I think that's my skill level. I just need to practice. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.